good afternoon all of you today i am here for the class of second year graduation second year so today we will learn from one poetry uh, uh, most probably fifth paper one poetry that is the dawn at pori the dawn at pori now who has written here who, is, who has written this poetry the poetry has been written by jayantro mohapatra jayantro mohapatra who is a poet from odisha okay i think uh, those who are living in west bengal they know very well odisha odisha is a neighbor state of west bengal so don at puri you uh, can catch the name of the don at puri here is a religious place the don at puri and the author mainly jayantro mahapatra describe here about the situation of the puri and where is the situation the situation he has described here the don i think all of you can understand what type of poetry it is this type of poetry is called nature's poetry or natural poetry suppose the dawn that means the time is signified here as dawn okay now here also you can see the place also where is the place the place is puri puri means i think those who are belonging from the hindu religion uh, they know very well where is puri and why puri signifies to us puri is a religious place for hindus so that's why puri is very much important for hindus and every time uh, there are i think the the uh, those who are the devotee uh, they know very well there is jagannath subhadra like this type of name we are uttering many times we are uttering and at the time of ratra jatra uh, you see jagannath subhadra uh, on the road also so here jayanto mahapatra what did he uh, write here here actually he wants to show what is the culture what is the significance of that particular place and what is the culture of this place also different different area different different culture we will have okay but now puri is related i already i have told that puri is beside west bengal that means neighbor state so here is some something that will be that will be uh, that will be uh, more religious that will be more religious from than that of west bengal that in west bengal also there are some religious place uh, you can see uh, in our religious place that tarapit dokhineshwar uh, uh, kamar pukur jairambati there are so many so many there are other religious place, place also uh, but puri is recognized most religious place for the bengalis okay now why the poet has given the name the dawn at puri particular particularly here the poet has described the time why because i think those who have those who are going those who have already gone that particular place puri they should remember that at the time of dawn where they were they were at the sea beach most most probably most probably i i don't know everyone but most probably all the people those who went puri at the time of dawn where they, where they were they were at the sea beach okay so the in the same manner in the same construction the poet has described the poetry what is the thing now the thing elaborately we will describe the poetry that the dawn at puri here i already told that puri is a religious place and the time has mentioned in this poetry now the poet is describing here that puri is recognized as a religious place of hindus those who are belonging from the hindu culture once upon a time they went or they go or they will go for the religious activities okay so the poet has described here 
and the poet is describing through the poetry that uh, the poetry has many 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 things though that particular things we will see in the puri what first first important things he has been describing here the particular word crow i think all of we know about this word crow crow is a bird this is a recognized bird this is a recognized bird i think all of you know uh, crow everywhere you can see the crow everywhere in our area also you can see the crow the poet has used this word in his poetry why because the poet is saying here and and the other other word that okay uh, i will say because uh, the chalk is too much little so uh, here the other word one is crow and the other word is beneficial for us that is shargoddar that is shargoddar i think all of you uh, heard the name of shargoddar uh, which will be located in puri okay so why crow is important and why shargoddar is important that is correlated puri uh, sorry crow and shargoddar that is correlated both of them are recognized as a religious activity for the religious activity for the how can be a religious activity uh, they could done okay just you see a crow crow what they are doing as a bird what they are doing actually whenever the crow will come uh, most of the people most of the not all most of the people what they are doing they are doing that uh, the crow is crying here so stop them to cry or just try to flee them away that is the that is our culture that is the main thing but here the poet is saying the uh, when we will have some garbage in our society in our society there are so many garbage so whenever we will have some garbage in our society so we need anyone else to reflect or to rectify the society from the garbage who will do this thing here the crow will do this thing in our society the crow will do this thing that means suppose you have spread some garbage in front of your house the crow will come and take this garbage and flee away okay so like that way the crow will be describing now about the shargaddar why it is important for this poetry shargaddar he has described as a place shargaddar is a place and where we can see the funeral of the hindu religious activities funeral all of you i think all of you know or all of you heard or all of you cultured with this word funeral so beside the beside the sea beach beside the uh, sea of the puri there were sargaddar so sargaddar is a place where funeral activities you can see and whenever the funeral activities you can see there will be some garbage or there will be some uh, there will be some other things also that we have to clear this particular place but what we are doing we are not doing our work properly we are not doing our work properly and this is the this is this poetry belongs to the age of old okay now sargaddar already why sargaddar sargaddar i think i think all of you know those who are uh, belonging from the old age they are going through their destiny that means destiny that means our last destiny is our death okay so destiny means here death so that's why the poet has used sargaddar and now that's why i have written here old old that means old age old age is prescribed here old age is prescribed here as sargoddar so that is the main criteria that is the main features you can see in that particular area of the poetry the dawn at puri and which has been reflected by the words by the poet jayantra mahapatra so next day we will discuss about line by line and we will tell you everything so for today's class that is up to that is next day we will start from here thank you